Welcome to Master Math. Here's a couple of tips to help you get the most out of these lessons. First of all, they're free. So you can watch it as many times as you need to understand the concept. Secondly, if I cover something and it's confusing to you still, hit your back button and look at it again. And third, when we come to a you try it problem, hit your pause key, try the problem on paper and pencil, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you enjoy yourself. Today we're going to be talking about puzzles. Yeah, puzzles. Well, we, in math we call it composite figures, but it's just like puzzles. You've got various pieces and you either push them together to create something different called the composite figure, or you look at the composite figure and you try to figure out what are the pieces that were pushed together to create this composite figure. Yeah, it's just like a puzzle and I think you're going to enjoy it. Well, here's an example. The shape on the left is not a square, it's not a rectangle, it's not a circle. What is it? Well, if you look very closely, maybe you'd be able to see that it's composed of two different shapes that you are familiar with. The bottom is a square that's 10 inches by 10 inches, and the top is a semicircle, half of a circle. Now, if somebody asks you what the perimeter of this shape was, you could figure that out. It would be this distance plus this distance plus this distance plus this distance, distance. The distance around the shape. It wouldn't include this line because this line's not around the shape, it's within the shape. So, the perimeter would be that side plus that side plus that side, all of which are 10 inches, plus one half of the circumference of the circle that would complete this semicircle. Let's figure that out. The perimeter of the semicircle is one half pi d, or one half times 3.14 times 10, which equals 15.7 inches. The perimeter of three sides of the square is three times, ten, 3 times 10 inches, or 30 inches. And the perimeter of the entire shape, the entire composite figure, is 15.7 plus 30 inches equals 45.7 inches. Well, what if we had the same composite figure and were asked to determine the area of it? Well, hopefully you could see that that area would be the area of the square plus the area of the semicircle. The area of the semicircle is one half the area of the complete circle it's, it, it's a part of. So it would be one half times 3.14 times 5 squared, or 5 times 5. And that 5 is the radius of the circle. And the radius is half the diameter. That dimension is 10 inches, same as that dimension. So half the radius would equal 5 inches. So the area of the semicircle is 15.7 square inches. The area of the square is 10 inches times 10 inches, or 100 square inches. And the combined area is 15.7 plus 100 which equals 115.7 square inches. Well, you can see you need to know some math to do these problems. You need to be able to calculate the uh, perimeter and calculate the area of rectangles and squares and circles, but I think you can do that. The other thing you have to be able to do on this is really the puzzle solving portion. It's to look at the figure and use your brain and try to figure out what individual shapes were pushed together to compose this figure. Let's say we had a figure that looked like that. That's a pretty strange looking figure. But I think you can see it's really several figures pushed together. 
we have a triangle. We have three squares. Or we have three quarters of a larger square. Either one is correct. And we have a semicircle. So if we knew the enough dimensions, we could figure out the area and the perimeter of this strange shape. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key. Well, if we need to figure out the area of this figure, we need to figure out what the composite figures that make up this figure are. So, let's look at it. I see a square that's six centimeters by six centimeters. And then I see a semicircle over here that has a diameter of six centimeters. And I've got an identical semicircle over here, which would also have a diameter of six centimeters. So I've got two semicircles, which is equal to one circle, plus I've got one square. So let's first figure out the area of the circle. The formula is pi r squared. So that's 3.14 times the radius squared. The diameter is 6 centimeters, so the radius is 3 centimeters. So 3.14 times 3 times 3 equals 28.26 square centimeters. Now I need the area of the square. The square is 6 centimeters by 6 centimeters, so the area is 36 square centimeters. And the total area of the composite shape is the area of the semicircles plus the area of the square, 28.26 plus 36, equals 64.26 square centimeters. Well, in order to figure out the perimeter of this figure, I need to understand what shapes compose this figure, what shapes were brought together to make up this figure. And I can see that there's a circle on the top. And I can see that it's sitting on what appears to be a square. So, the perimeter would be the distance all the way around the outside of the composite figure. And that would be made up of half of the circumference of this circle plus this side, this side, and this side of the square. Half the circumference of the circle would equal 0.5 pi d, or 0.5 times 3.14 times 21, or 32.97 feet. Three sides of the square would equal 21 feet plus 21 feet plus 21 feet, or 63 feet. And when I total those two dimensions together, I get 95.97 feet. Well, the first step to trying to figure out the area of this shape is to figure out what figures compose it. Now hopefully you can see that there's a triangle there and a triangle there and a rectangle here. And hopefully you can figure out the dimensions of, of all those shapes so we can figure out the area of each. Let's start with the two triangles. We know that the base of each of the triangles is 8 feet and we know that the height is 4 feet. So the area would be one-half the base times the height, or one-half times eight times four, which equals 16 square feet. How about the rectangle? Well, it's obvious that that dimension is 10 feet, but what's this dimension? It doesn't tell us any place. Well, we have to figure that out. We know that from there to there is eight feet. And we know that from there to there is 2 feet. And we can assume that that's 2 feet. So I've got 8 feet less 2 feet less 2 feet. That dimension's 4 feet. So 
the area of the rectangle is 10 by 8 minus 2 minus 2 or 8 by 4 or 32 square feet and the combined area would be 16 square feet plus 32 square feet or 48 square feet. That's our lesson on perimeter and area of composite figures. Now it's time to test your skill. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet on perimeter and area of composite figures. After you've done the worksheet, go back to Master Math and try the subject quiz on perimeter and area of composite figures. And come back and see us again as soon as possible.